Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Here at Psych2Go, we strive to help everyone learn more about mental health and psychology in a digestible way. This is made possible because of all the love and support you've given us, and we want to thank you for that. Now, let's begin. Have you ever wanted to control the things that happen in your dreams? Maybe to fly around the sky or look at the world underwater. You may be able to do just that when you're lucid dreaming. This is a type of dream where you're aware of the events in your dream and can often control what's happening in them. However, if you're inexperienced, you may end up doing things that wake you up and break your lucid state. So here are 10 things you should not do while lucid dreaming. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only. Psych2Go discourages self-diagnosis and advises that this be done in a safe environment and with a professional present. Number one, don't close your eyes. Are you tempted to close your eyes when you're lucid dreaming? Maybe you wanna see if you'll have a dream within a dream. However, your conscious brain may end up interpreting that impulse as trying to physically close your eyes. This may pull you away from your subconsciousness and wake you up instead. Number two, don't lie down. Have you ever wanted to lie down in your lucid state? When you lucid dream, you're in a state between being conscious and being asleep. Any impulse to lay down may be registered by your conscious brain to actually move, which may end up breaking the dream and waking you up. Number three, don't think about your real body. Do you feel an itch somewhere or wanna stretch your muscles? Thinking about your real body and the impulses you feel may pull you out of your lucid dream and wake you up. By disconnecting yourself from thoughts about your real body, you can train yourself to stay and experience the lucid state longer. Number four, don't do anything really exciting too soon. Do you wanna fly around, swim deep underwater, or just do something impossible when you start to lucid dream? Small impulses can break your lucid state. So dreaming something too exciting or tense too soon may alert your conscious brain and wake you up. Number five, stay away from your real memories. Are you tempted to re-experience certain moments of your life when you're lucid dreaming? While it may seem like a good idea, it's actually very dangerous. Using your memories in your lucid state can have some serious consequences, such as accidentally altering, creating, or even erasing your memories. You may not even be aware that it's happening. So it's safer to keep your lucid and conscious state separate. Number six, don't fantasize too often about someone you know. Do you constantly fantasize about someone you know? Maybe you dream about going on the perfect date with them or spending time with them outside of school. The memories you create in your lucid state may slip into your real memories without you being aware of it. This may end up affecting and hurting your relationship with that person in real life. Number seven, don't wish for something scary. Were you ever curious to see what would happen if you were to wish for something scary? Since lucid dreaming is to look into your subconsciousness, your wish to see something scary can be a very harrowing experience. Your brain knows all about your triggers and fears, so it may be best you avoid making such a wish. Number eight, avoid mirrors. Have you wanted to pick up a mirror and see how you look when you're lucid dreaming? It's highly unlikely that you'll see your actual self, the one you're used to seeing when you're awake. Instead, you may end up seeing how your subconscious views yourself, which may not be what you expected. Number nine, don't overdo it. Do you find lucid dreaming incredibly exciting? You may find yourself flying around or controlling gravity with no consequence whatsoever. However, it's important that you're not constantly trying to lucid dream. Your attraction to your subconscious world may become an obsession that ends up pulling you away from the real world. And number 10, don't leave stuff for later. Have you ever postponed an activity for later or see something you wanna do, but decide you'll get to it afterward? There are endless possibilities when you're lucid dreaming. So you may end up wanting to put some things off for a later time. However, each dream is unique and cannot be replicated. So you may wanna do the thing you wanna do before you wake up. Have you ever had a lucid dream? Tell us about your experience in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it insightful too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go content. All the references used are also added in the description box below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.